Have you ever wanted your surveyors to easily see the last inspection for a lot in Survey123? Well, today you're in luck. In today's GeoSnap, I'm going to show you how to pull the most recent record of a survey by using the pull data function in Survey123 Connect. In this GeoSnap, I will show you how to first pull data from a layer, but also pull the most recent record in a layer as well. Before we start with this demonstration, I would like to mention that the pull data function I am showing you will only work for surveyors that are connected to the internet. Just keep this in mind in case you plan to work offline with your surveys. First, for the questions, I have three for this survey. The first question is a geo point to get the location of the user. Then I will retrieve the lot number from a pre-configured layer that I already created on ArcGIS Online. This will be based on the location from the first question. Finally, I will have the status question that will pull the most recent record from the point layer that will be produced by the survey for that specific lot that the user is in. Now let's see how to configure those calculations. For convenience, I have written out the two calculations in Visual Studio Code to better show them off here. For the first equation, this will be used in the second question of the survey to pull the lot number based on the user's location. First, we start with the beginning of the equation with pull data at layer. Then, since we are pulling from a location question, we will need to use get value at as our second value. Next, we will write the field that we want to pull the data from, in this case, lot ID. Now we will put the URL of the layer. This can be found at the bottom right corner of the item details page for the feature class in ArcGIS Online. Finally, we can use the name of the location question since this is what will be used to determine the value that we are grabbing. Now for pulling the most recent record, this calculation will be used in the third question of the survey I've created. I have made a new pull data function, but this time I am using get value for the second value since we are not using location to determine this value. Then for the URL, you will notice that there is a calculation at the end of it. All this is doing is ordering the pulled records by the creation date and then selecting the top result. Additionally, for the last value, I'm gonna be adding a where clause that includes the lot number so that it will pull the most recent record for that specific lot. It is also using the concatenate function as this will enable it to work in both the field app and the web form. A quick note before I show the result is that it's crucial when using either of these functions that all field names and functions are properly capitalized and spelt, since neither will work otherwise. If any of these functions are not working as expected, I would also make sure to read the blog in the description for a more in-depth look on this function. So what's the result? Now you can see that I am pulling the lot number with my location that I have already input for the geo point. And then once I submit a record and I get a value for that second question, I will now get a new value for that second question when I come back to it, showing the most recent record from that lot ID.